Welcome back to Plot Twist, my new Excel chart series where we transform boring data into impressive data visualizations. In today's episode, we'll learn how to easily track steps completed with a step-by-step -step chart in Excel. Let's get started. A step chart is a fun, interactive chart that automatically fills each step with the color of choice once it's complete. And believe it or not, it's actually a lot easier to create than you'd think. For example, here we have a list of tasks for our upcoming product launch, and we want to take this up a notch and create a step chart to visually display how many tasks are complete. To create a step chart, first things first, we need to set up the data. We need to add two columns to our data table that will represent each line in our step chart. One will be the base with the total number of tasks, and the other will represent the tasks completed. For the base column, we need to enter all ones. This will give us the gray baseline in our chart by plotting a one for each task. For the task column, we need to enter a one if the task is complete, and an NA error if the task is incomplete, so that Excel does not plot the incomplete tasks. This is going to represent the colored line in our chart by plotting the complete tasks and ignoring the NA errors. To return a 1 if a checkbox is checked and an NA error if it's unchecked, I'm going to enter the IF function and then check to see if the checkbox is checked as the criteria by entering D3 equals true. Next, I'll enter the outputs by entering a 1 as the value of true argument and the NA function as the value of false argument. Fill the formula down the column and our data is ready to go. Now for the fun part, creating the step chart. To create the step chart, select the two new columns that we just created, navigate to the insert tab, open the line or area chart dropdown and select a line chart with markers. Now that we've created the base for our step chart, we just need to add some formatting to turn this into the end result we're looking for. Let's start by formatting the baseline by selecting it in the chart and then open the Format Task Pane by right-clicking the mouse and selecting Format Data Series. Once the task pane pops up, select the Fill and Line icon, set the line to a solid line, update the fill color to light gray using the color dropdown, and thicken the width of the line to 10 points. All right, now that the line is formatted, we need to format the markers by selecting the marker icon in the task pane, choosing Built-in under Marker Options, and increasing the size to about 30. Finally, update the markers to match the line by updating the color to gray using the color dropdown and removing the borders by selecting no line under the border menu. This is looking much better. Now we just need to repeat these exact same steps for the completed task line by selecting the line in the chart, opening the fill and line task pane, setting the line to a solid line under the line menu, thickening the width of the line to 10, and finally updating the color to any color of choice. I personally want blue to represent the completed tasks, so I'm going to select this light blue shade from the fill color dropdown. Next, update the markers by clicking the marker icon, selecting built-in, and updating the size to 30. Last but not least, update the fill color of the markers to blue to match the line, and remove the borders by selecting no line. This is starting to look a lot like the step chart. Both of the lines are formatted. Now we just need to add the task numbers as data labels to the chart. To add data labels, select the gray line in the chart, click the chart elements button, press the arrow next to data labels, select more options and open the label options menu. We want the labels to be the values in column B. So we need to check value from cells and select the values in column B. Hit okay. And as you can see, each marker is now labeled with the task number but it also includes the ones from the base column. We don't want to include the ones in our labels, so I'm going to uncheck value under label options to remove the ones. I'm also going to center the labels in the marker by selecting center under label position, and then increase the font size, bold them, and update the color to white to make them more visible. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Our step chart is officially complete, but let's clean up the chart a little bit by deleting the chart elements we don't need. We don't need the chart title, grid lines, legends, and axes, so let's remove them by selecting each element in the chart and pressing the delete key. 
Lastly, I like to remove the sharp border to give it an embedded look in the worksheet by selecting the border, navigating to the Format tab, opening the Shape Outline dropdown, and selecting No Outline. Much better. Now we can just check off tasks once they're done, and the chart will automatically fill the task blue to show that it's complete. How cool is that? Never skip a step again with an Excel step chart. Let me know in the comments below how you plan to use this chart. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode of Plot Twist.